You're watching Enoch Magazine. This is LTJ, Lesson Jake. This is Nate's first night filming. We had a little, little issue with a cameraman and Johnny Law. <laughs> you want to tell this? So we call Ian Fordyce. Yeah, that's our other camera guy, and he says his car has been impounded by the police. Yeah, pretty brutal. He wasn't gonna make the show. So we called Drake. He's our new cameraman. Yeah. <laughs> Well, this spring, we filmed a 10 day documentary in LA about homelessness. And even amongst, it, it's weird, there's just so, I don't know if you know about Skid Row in LA. Of course, it's over yeah. by uh, downtown Los Angeles. Sure. And it's a stone's throw away from American Apparel, believe that or not. It is. <laughs> and a lot of the homeless people down there really loved God and the church. I was just curious, what, what is your perception of Jesus? How did you get that perception? This song's called Gainesville Rock City. <laughs> I don't really believe uh, very much in organized religion, but I do believe in God. Uh, the question about Jesus, I can't really apply it to anything, but I do believe there's a higher power, but I can't really say whether that is, you know, someone called Jesus or not. So there's my yeah. two cents. But here's my back to the sidebar. 
So I was down in Skid Row in Los Angeles, American Apparel Factory and all that. There's a great place that serves a great tuna sandwich like a block away from where Skid Row is and I was down there and I bought a tuna sandwich and it honestly was the best tuna sandwich that I've oh, ever had well, in my I'm whole entire life. It, we'll it was bri- brickwork. It was brickworks. About two weeks ago, you guys put out a new record. Jan VFLA, Gainesville, tell me, Florida. Tell me a little bit about the process. It's your first record in a while, aside uh, off the major well, label, where you had more control. And you know, I think that when we did uh, our previous record, not Jan VFLA, but in with the out crowd, I think that there was a lot of fingers in the pot of us writing songs. You know, it was managers and record label and producers and I think this record was organic we didn't even tell anyone that we were writing a record we just sort of showed up at the warehouse and we started writing songs and you know we didn't announce it to anyone hey we're writing songs for a new record hell the record was done and complete before even mentioned it to anyone outside of the band and friends that we even were doing a record and I think that it was important to do it, it was just natural and it was really mellow actually you know, and no real like sort of pressure on the band, and we just wrote songs that were less than Jake's songs. Lyrically, what's the record about? It's about the loss of the American dream in a small town in the United States, it's, and it's the backdrop of Gainesville, Florida, hence the name GNVFLA. But it's literally, if you want to like boil it down to the basics, it's the death of the American dream. The death of the well, Hunter S. Thompson was always. Was always searching for the American dream. Yeah, the American know, dream's dead. Found it. The American dream's dead, especially in small towns, especially in the economic situation that the United States is in. The the American dream is dead. And there's a song on there called "Handshake Meets Poker Face," and that specifically, you know, talks about my mother and and her sort of coming to grips with the fact that her like sort of life as she knew it was over because she had to take care of you know, two sons and be a single mother. Oh, wow. So, like, there's songs that, so that's the example that I'm giving about sort of what the backdrop of the record is. The backdrop of the record is sort of, you know, it's a focal point on the economics, but the economics of a small town. I mean, you know, anyone that even lives in the suburbs can understand that, you know, it's, you live, your parents live paycheck to paycheck to paycheck. You might live paycheck to paycheck. You know? I do, I do. And, <laughs> and it, it's, it's, a, it's a, a very, thin line to walk without falling off. A lot of kids say playing music and touring is the American dream. What advice do you have for kids, you know, or just getting into music or they have a strong passion for music? It, it, take your passion and, and use that to your advantage because in the world right now, most people don't have passion for much. So if you could take whatever passion you have and channel that to do something good, and something to, you know, create something, especially to create something positive, then they should do that. I got to the Cheetos hot fries before. Oh, careful. Come on, you got to get some too, man. I'll just get them. I'll get the shot mm. there. <laughs> now every intro we do is terrible because oh, I got you're fine. it in my teeth. Oh, no.